Hey there guys. So I've been showing a lot of b-roll of me walking around. I'm going to voice over as much of this as I can. But I've been wearing these boots for a week now. Anytime I take the dog for a walk, I am wearing them, which is I'm putting about two miles a day on them. I haven't quite done a full day's work in them as I just don't want to risk taking them to work, getting uncomfortable, and then taking them off. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just not ready for it. You know, I, they're not the most comfortable at first, which it's hard to explain. They really aren't uncomfortable. They're just not my first choice for a boot right now, just because my other boots are so broken in and I really just want to go to work and be comfortable throughout the day and not really have to worry about breaking anything in. So anytime I take the dog for the walk, I put these on and we do a one mile walk in the morning and one mile walk in the evening. And they're definitely, they're breaking in. I'm starting to, to get to like them. They are hard on the toes. I think once my toes, that area, that footbed starts to really shape to my toes, it'll get a little bit better. I was a little concerned about the width. It seems to be okay. I have one hot spot and it's just my pinky toe is just the tiniest bit rubbing. It's not enough to really sway me away from the shoe, but I almost just, wish there was like a way I could put a, a little bar in there and just crank it out and just push, I mean, the tiniest, tiniest bit of extra space on my pinky toe. It, again, it's not enough to really frustrate me at all. And actually, if I bend the toe, like so if I bend here, it gives me that little bit of extra space there. That's where my pinky toe happens to be at, is like at that natural folding spot. If I'm walking a lot and I'm stretching that shoe over and over and over again, it does get a little bit more comfortable throughout the afternoon. Now, if I sit here for a little while, then I get up to walk, I can kind of feel my pinky toe rub again. Uh, like I said, though, it's not enough to, to deter me from putting the boots on. It, it really is just a tiny bit. Uh, we went walking on gravel. They're excellent for that. I was uh, walking up the little sides of embankments. The, the traction on these lugged soles is amazing, uh, bar none so far. I haven't had to worry about any kind of slippage. I've walked along the streams, walking along the rocks, walking on logs. They're definitely made uh, for having that good grip on anything that you're gonna to be on. I didn't get these to wear them at work, really. I got them for going hiking. I do want to, as we're coming into winter time, I do plan on hopefully hitting the trails a lot more uh, than I have been. I've lost a significant amount of weight. I hope to lose a little bit more weight. And I hope these are the boots that I am out tearing up the brush with. I think they're going to be uh, amazing at that. They look fantastic. The spacing still bothers me. The spacing still bothers me just a tiny bit. I mean, and I think that's only because all my other shoes, it's so much closer together. This spacing is, is two fingers uh, apart. You know, maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half of space between uh, the laces. Now, if I take the kilty out, that spacing does reduce quite a bit. I, I'm i not decided on whether or not I want to wear the shoes without the kilties. They came with them. I like how they look in it. I like how when I see pictures of boots that have the kilties in them, I like how they look after the kilties worn in. And I kind of want to get to that spot. Is Once the kilties worn in, then really kind of get a feel for it knew they looked great. I really do like how the kilty looks in the shoe, but again, it causes that little bit of extra space when lacing the boots up. I took the kilties out the other day, laced them up, and it was a lot. Uh, they cinched down quite a bit more, which made me a little bit more comfortable about the fit of the boot, that I was actually wearing the right size boot, whereas with the kilty in, it does just space it out just enough that I notice. It's not... My concern again, I, like I've said, over the week it's reduced. I've seen some more pictures online and I do notice that a lot of people wearing the Drew's boots, they tend to have a little bit more space in the laces. Not like your foot's falling out, but that there is a little bit more space laces. Anyhow, one week with these, the uppers feel great. Uh, they definitely feel great. My heel space is perfect. My arch is perfect. Uh, the space in my toe box is really good. As far as lifting my toes up and down, it is amazing. It is, again, now, uh, on my left boot, I have no issues with my pinky touching, anything like that. It's just the right boot. 
there is that tiny bit of space and I can like shift my foot over inside the boot. Like there's enough room that I can move my big toe more medially. And then I do have that a little bit of space for my pinky. So I don't know if just the way my foot is sitting in this boot that it's just, it's angling itself over. So the pinky toe is brushing up again. So I have made a, a conscious effort today to have to shift my foot inside the boot. That way there's my, my foot's more medial and my pinky toe doesn't rub up against the side as much. That does, that does tend to help. But again, as you're walking, you can't consciously just keep moving your foot inside the shoe. Uh, that's not a way to, to walk. And I was hoping that just through my natural walk that I could start to get the boot to kind of just naturally fall that way as I would walk. And again, they, they move, uh, you know, as far as the break-in process go, the uppers uh, I don't think are any issue just because of how thick all of this is there is uh, some breaking that's going to happen have to happen with the the soles my feet do really have to start to conform to these i saw some videos where people say fill your boots with water you walk in until they're dry i've considered that just to, to aid in getting that leather to shape but i figure i'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way i'm just gonna walk in them and work in them and really cause my you know the leather to break in that way uh, i might wear them to work tomorrow we'll see just want to get up in the morning how everything feels i'm not uh 100 sure of the direction i want to take with these yet but anyhow i've been again out all day so we got out of church we ate lunch and we've just been hiking and walking for the whole rest of the day uh, so it's uh it's 4 56 now 12 1 so we've probably been walking three hours in them and all over it, it's definitely awesome we've run into the dog park uh, walking the trails, walking the gravel trails, walking uh, along the, the river's edge here. Uh, I've definitely been putting them through uh, their paces. I haven't splashed through any kind of mud yet, but it's been fun. Sorry about that. I only get uh, 10 minutes of recording at 4K. So I have been putting these through their paces. I have been walking along, I just scratched myself. I've been walking along the banks, going up and down everything. I haven't splashed through any mud. I don't intend to splash through any mud. I would still like to, while these will eventually get worn in and I am gonna take them hiking through some uh, treacherous terrains in the future, I do not intend to intentionally trash my boots uh, the first month that I have them. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy the, the footage that I've showed you today. Drew's boots are amazing i definitely like them uh, these were not sent to me uh, these were purchased on my own i talked to i messaged them through instagram telling them what size red wings that i was wearing and they suggested this was the size i go with i am definitely happy with them i do think though when i go to get my next pair of drew's boots i do believe drew's will be uh, a boot that i will go with again i will probably get an e that way it is just a little bit more wide but it would be a 90 instead of a nine or nine and a half E instead of a nine and a half D. Just so that way I have a little bit more space in the toe. You know, reading on the website, they say that the this McKay stitch causes the boot to be a little wa bit wider. I mean, maybe that's the case. Maybe it's not. Maybe my feet are just extra wide and I didn't realize it. But yeah, anyhow, I love them. They are not uncomfortable. They do got some more breaking in to do. I hope you like, hope you enjoy. Ciao.